Hello, Digital Educator, and welcome to this very short tip video here that's coming out to you that is about turning printed text into digital text with the help of Google Keep. Google Keep is like by and far away one of the most simple, but one of my favorite apps of all time, just because it does so much. I'm a list maker, so making lists, uh, it, it excels at, is amazing. It takes all of the cloud technology of what you know with like Google Docs, and it turns into basically a, a note keeping app, a list making app. Uh, I could not go shopping without this, especially would say my wife, because one of the great things about when you use Google Keep and these lists that you make is that they're updating in real time. So if I'm out at the store, and I have my, my grocery list of what I'm supposed to pick up. She can be adding things at home and I'll be getting them as I'm looking at the list. And it is such a multifunctional, awesome tool. And it has some little gems that are hidden away. And today we're gonna to focus upon how we can take something that's like a printed text and turn it into digital text. And so I ask you, have you ever had a piece of paper that you had uh, printed off for you, but you wanted to like make some changes, you wanted to alter things a little bit? Well, Google Keep can help you with that. In the past, I've used sites like Zamzar, where I'd go and I would uh, take a PDF or take a picture of the text of what I had, but it would take and it would interpret all the markup that's going on, the images, the alignments, and it creates a lot of funky code that's gonna go in there and it makes it more difficult to work with. Google Keep is just going to give you the pure unadulterated text. It's not gonna to try to format it in any way. That's your job. It makes it super easy to work with. So let's go through how we do this. First off, you gotta have this installed on your phone uh, or your mobile device, whatever you wanna call it. Because if without that, you really can't take the picture. Could you use it on the web app? Yeah, but it's really hard to, to hold it up like this and to get a really good shot. So I encourage you to put it on your mobile device. And there's so many more uses you can use it for beyond just like turning text into digital text. So once you get into the Google Keep app, you're gonna click on the image icon, take a picture, select take photo, as opposed to choose photo. Choose photos for when you have things that are already on your phone. So click to take photo, you're gonna capture the image just like the same way you take a picture of anything. Next, we're gonna jump over to our de other device, which would be your Chromebook, your laptop, your desktop, and you're gonna to go to keep.google.com. It keeps with that same naming convention that Google always uses of whatever the product is, .google.com. So keep.google.com. And then you'll see all of your different notes that you have on there. And you will find the image that you have. You're gonna click on it. Once you click on it, it'll pop out at you. And you're gonna throw the three uh, dots that are there, the meatballs as they're called. And once you click on that, it'll bring up the, the sub menu. And then you can find what's called grab image text. And it will actually stick it almost like in the, the captions of what the image is going to be. From there, you can copy and paste it. You can put it in a word, you can put it in the docs, you can put it wherever it needs to be, that way you can format it. So let's show what this actually works, how it works, what it looks like. I have a piece of text here from Mr. Safe. Huge fan of the APL interaction sequence. And let's say that whoever created this for him decided they wanted to make copies or they wanted to add a little bit, change it around to give to our new teachers. We're gonna do that. So I'm gonna take my trusty cell phone here and I'm going to open up my Google Keep app, which looks like that. Next, I'm going to select the image icon, which is that right there. And I'm going to select take photo. And once I'm here, it looks just like the camera. I get the text that is inside of there, so it looks just like a picture. I click plus. You can add a title, you can add notes, whatever it's going to be, but I'm just gonna go back. Now, you will see as it is uploading here that there's that little like recycling icon in the lower corner. That will stay there until it's uploaded. Once it's on the cloud, you won't see it anymore. I don't see it anymore, so that means I should go over here to keep.google.com and ka -chow. There it is, you see the image. So like I said, you can click on the image or you can click on the, the three meatballs here. And then you want to grab image text and instantly there you see everything that we had is now in a text format that I can copy and paste that I can make my own alterations to. I can make it look however it needs to be. I want to double click, it pops out the way I prefer to have it. And 
there you go. It doesn't do any formatting at all. It looks just like a notepad, but that's okay because that's up to you. And so again, this is a really simple way for us to turn a printed piece of paper into digital text. But if you're having any problems with this, feel free to reach out because our model school staff is always here to help.